With NX2412, we've added the ability here for feature templates to be able to be used in really any unit's context, which is pretty exciting. Uh, User-defined features for, uh, for a long, long time have only been usable in the same kind of part in which they were created, right? So if a user-defined feature was defined uh, as an inch part, you could only use it in the context of an inch part. <laughs> and uh, same, uh, of course, with, with millimeters. Um, you, we've removed that uh, limitation here with feature templates. So, so if we create one uh, as an inch uh, feature template, for instance, we can really use it in either context and, and uh, vice versa. We'll, we'll see that here as we do this. So let's jump into NX and, uh, and take a look. I'm going to use this uh, the same wing flap assembly that uh, we used about a year ago <laughs> when talking about our, uh, our multiple point placement, right? Where we're going to put a bunch of these along the edge of this, uh, of this flap here. Um, I'm actually going to jump into that flap assembly here and we'll, we'll use this context here to, uh, to place uh, a whole bunch of rivet holes along the, the, this, this edge of this flap part. Uh, so to do that, go to the reuse library. Um, again, I'm going to go back a year to NX2312 here to my uh, examples to grab a rivet hole. And this is a 1 16th inch uh, uh, rivet hole, right? Uh, it's got a uh, obviously a countersink on the top there to, to accommodate the head and uh, and as we grab this guy We're again dropping this now into an inch flap assembly. So this is the same units here uh, on this guy We've got the multiple selection uh, Enabled for this one so we can grab all of those holes out there 31 of those guys and uh, And come in and look here as we do this target body will go there and we'll say okay and this is gonna now go and add all of those rivet holes here, of course, along our, our edge, right? And uh, in this context, these here, of course, you see are uh, instances here of our of our rivet hole and uh, these guys. And each one of these here, we'll notice is, uh, if we, we take one of these, actually, let's explode one of these here so we can see the original features. There we go. And let's explode that into a feature group. You'll notice here that these original parameters for this guy are uh, 16th of an inch here, right? And uh, and again, we're in the context of an inch part here as we do that. So that's, that's the easy case. <laughs> the, the new thing here that we can see is a very similar one here. I'm going to just do a real simple plate, but this one's a, a millimeter part. Now, if we look at the expressions in this part here, we can see that that uh, the, these are defined here. The block expressions here are, are in millimeters. And, um, and we can do the same thing here, which is pretty cool. This is the new part, right? So we can come grab that same feature template, again, defined as an inch part, right? And, uh, and as I bring that into this millimeter part, it's okay with that, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is really good. Um, here again, I can go grab a set of points, uh, grab the target body here, and it's gonna go instantiate those. Uh, just fine with no complaint whatsoever <laughs> um, Here again as we go to look at these uh, if we come to measure here for instance and uh, measure say that edge right here, right? Um, we'll notice here that, that the measurement originally or you know initially comes up here in millimeters We've got uh, our, our 1.5875 millimeter diameter um, it, It's measuring in the context of, of the the units of the work part here, of course um, if I come in to measure and choose to, to change the measurements to, to English units here, for instance, you'll notice that it, it is, of course, that original sixteenth of an inch here uh, in the measure, right? Uh, and similarly, if we come again to the, the model navigator and grab, say, that same one and explode it, uh, actually, I've got to edit it here and explode inside here. There we go. Um, here again, we'll see that this uh, again shows that original sixteenth of an inch uh, inch expressions here for this one here. So so if we're looking at the the expressions of the part, let's get back out here and and uh, look at the expressions. I'm using Control E to launch that expressions dialog. Of course, you can get it in here as well uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah yeah, this one it's already open. Um, the, the, again, the original the original expressions for the uh, the blocker in millimeters here in this part but you'll notice again that these uh, when we instantiate this feature template it maintains the the the, the expressions units of the uh, the original feature template as defined right which makes sense particularly as we're doing th feature templates for things like standard fasteners and so forth it, it really doesn't make sense to change the expressions uh, change the units 
uh, of those those standard fasteners really that are defined as either millimeters or inches. Uh, keep them in the the, uh, the the units in which they're defined, in which the standard is defined, and so forth. So so that's uh, that's the exciting new one here, right? The ability again to use a feature template in the context of of really any part. This is really an extension of of the work we've been doing over the last few releases to do much more uh, easily mixed unit assemblies. And uh, so I hope you find that useful.